what is going on guys today i'm going to show you all the work truck that i recently got but first i want to introduce you to my little friend got a little new shop mascot what we got here steven you got this little pigeon that won't fly what do you think about it joe can't fly oh it's so cute can't fly All right, guys, here's the truck I've been telling you about. This is a 2001 Chevy S10. Now, keep in mind, this is not the vehicle that's taking over the channel. But until I get the next car I want, this will be taking up some of the vlogs. Now, I'm not going to do any mods to it, but I'm certainly going to take care of it. I'll show you a couple things that I plan on doing to this. All right, for starters, it's a 2001 Chevy S10. The reason I wanted another S10 is because an S10 was my first vehicle I've ever had. And I've had several of them. So, I'd been looking for one. And it took me forever to find one with low miles. Things like that. K-Series Pro still representing. Overall, the truck's really clean for the year. It does have some rust. Uh, the worst part is on the bed right here and the frame I'm gonna undercoat it this weekend I'm sure I'll vlog that like I said that's the worst part of it, it's the rust interior is nice still got the original floor mats this will come right out if I just shampooed it good enough but the best part about this truck let me get my keys so every S10 I looked at had a bunch of problems, a uh, lot of oil leaks, a lot of miles. This is the best part about this truck. 93,000 miles. Radio on. So 93,000 miles. And the transmission was rebuilt 3,000 miles ago. So I won't disclose exactly how much I give for this truck, but it was dirt cheap. And it was almost half of what everybody else was asking for their 200,000 mile plus trucks. And they were asking, you know, upward of 3,500 to four grand. So I got a really good deal on this truck. I couldn't be happier. Like I said, the interior, I would give it an easy nine out of 10. I mean, these trucks, most of the time they're ragged out and stuff. So it's just hard to find one in this good a condition for the price. Other than the rust, the only downside of this truck is the AC compressor's out of it. Now, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to fix the AC compressor. I'm going to undercoat the frame because you all see it had some rust on it. This is uh, from Illinois, so that's why there's some rust on it. And uh, make sure you go visit kseriespros.com. And don't forget to visit subipros.com as well uh, for all you Subaru guys out there. But anyways, I'm going to undercoat the frame. Uh, I'm going to tint the windows. And that's about it. A friend of mine has a cow hood laying around that, you know, he said I could pick up pretty cheap. I might entertain that idea. I don't know. Um, one more thing. Like, there's some rust on the front bumper. This grill piece is faded out. I might take that off, repaint all that black, tape this chrome up, paint the bow tie uh, black as well. Just do some little stuff to it. Not really going to mod this truck, like I said, but I am going to do some improvements on it. Like I said, a little bit of rust there. You know, a little on the frame. It's not really a big deal, though. So anyways, guys, comment in the section below. Tell me what you think about the new work truck slash daily driver. I'll show y'all a quick glance under the hood. Now, I was looking for a 4.3, but I got such a good deal on this truck that I could not pass it up. I'm going to be cleaning underneath the hood of this this weekend as well when I undercoat the frame. Uh, I'll show you why the AC compressor is bad. You can literally just sit here and spin the clutch with your finger. So anyways, like I said, it's pretty clean under here. Uh, no leaks whatsoever. I'm going to do a spray-in bed liner. And the tailgate works. This is going to be a rare occurrence for these older trucks. And I know I told you all that I wanted a WRX. I still do, 
but I've kind of been thinking lately. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. There's several options I could go for right now. Uh, right now, I'm currently debt free. Uh, this truck's paid for. So I don't, I'm not real sure if I want to go back in debt. So what I thought about doing, I thought about buying like a blown up WRX and rebuilding the motor from top to bottom or side to side in a boxer engine. But uh, anyways, let me know what you all would think about that idea. You know, if I bought a blown up car and showed step by step of removing the engine and just rebuilding the whole car. Just an idea to think about. Uh, the next vlog I will release is the 150 subscriber giveaway. Don't forget to check that out. Comment for a chance to enter to win a six speed package. All right, guys, like I said, let me know what y'all think about the S10. Again, this is not taking over my channel. It will take up some slack till I decide what I want to do for my other car project. But like I said, let me know what you all think. And thank you so much for sticking around in between my car builds. Uh, it means a lot. Like I said, I think you'll enjoy the stuff I'm going to do to the S10. Uh, maybe it'll give you all some ideas you can do to your work truck or whatever you haul your trailer with. I will see you all next time. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram at One Jiu Jitsu Panda. Make sure you visit the website in the bottom right corner www.kseriespros.com.